Hello and welcome to Visa Pathfinders. My name is Peter Olubayo. Today we are excited to introduce the New Zealand Straight to Residence Visa to you. Yes, you heard me right. With this visa, you will migrate to New Zealand as a permanent resident. The New Zealand Straight to Residence Visa is an indefinite one, meaning that it allows you to live, work and study in New Zealand permanently. Not only you, you can also include your partner and dependent children age 24 or younger in your visa application. You know that for many other countries, your children has to be below 18 before you, they can enjoy the same benefits as yourself. This is not so in New Zealand. And of course, this opens up all the opportunity just like an indigenous New Zealander has to you and your family. And the good thing also is that there are over 190 job roles eligible for this visa, which makes it a popular choice for skilled workers who want to immigrate to New Zealand quickly and easily. So if the sound of this interests you, make sure to watch this video to the end. Before we continue, I want to use this opportunity to thank all our subscribers for sharing our videos. If you are new here, welcome to a family where we create success story using a do-it-yourself approach and please make sure to subscribe and click the notification button. So, as earlier mentioned, this visa allows you to enter New Zealand with a resident status. Apart from this, New Zealand generally is a popular destination for migrants seeking a good quality of life, education and work-life balance under a nice climate and outdoors. Let's now go straight to the eligibility and how to apply. To apply for the New Zealand Straight to Residence Visa, you must meet the following requirements, which are, in summary, number one, you must be age 55 or younger. Number two is for you to have a job offer from an accredited employer for a role on tier one of the green list. The third one is to meet the English language requirement, while the fourth one is for you to meet the health and character requirement for residents. If you can gather all these requirements, then let us look at how to apply for this wonderful New Zealand Straight to Residence visa. Let's talk a bit more about the eligibility criteria and what you need to apply. So as you can see on the screen, all right, so these are the documents that you need to apply. The first thing is to prove your identity and you simply do that by providing one acceptable photo of yourself and a scan of the personal detail page of your international passport. You must also be able to prove that you are in good character. If you or anyone else included in your application at age 17 or older, you must provide a police certificate from all the countries you are a citizen of and any other country you have stayed in for 12 months or more over the last 10 years, even if it was not all in the same stay. And please know that police certificate must be less than 6 months old at the time of your application. As we mentioned earlier, you must be in good health and you must be able to prove that. This means that you and anyone else included in your application must complete a chest x-ray and medical examination. Please note that children under 10 years old will not need to provide chest x-ray. We have said also that you must be age 55 or younger at the time of your application in order to be eligible for this state to residence visa. Also, you must be able to prove the relationship you have with your partner or children under 24 as genuine by providing documents such as your marriage and birth certificate. If your partner or depend dependent children already have or are applying for a work student or visitor visa based on their relationship to you, you must include them in your residence application. Now, going to the English language requirement, they need you to be able to speak English language at an acceptable level. There are two ways to prove this by taking English language tests or providing documents that show that you already speak and understand English language. 
The result of your English language test must be acceptable to us and no more than two years old when you apply. Now, for those who they said providing documents, that means for if you have the citizenship of United Kingdom, Canada, Highland, United States of America, New Zealand itself, Australia, and few other countries, or you have gained qualifications at a postgraduate level um, in these countries. For those who will need to provide English language results, there are six acceptable tests, which include IELTS, TOEFL, PTE Academic, Cambridge English B2 First, and two other ones. Now, for your IELTS, you have to have an overall score of 6.5 or more, for TOEFL, an overall score of 79 or more, and for PTE Academic, you must have a score of 58 or more. Also, your spouse, partner, or children under 24 also must be able to prove their English language proficiency. And for them, they don't have to have as much as, you know, um, proficiency as yourself. For high health, it will be an overall score of 5.0 or more and every other one as you can see on the screen. You will also need to provide evidence of your previous work. The evidence you need to provide depends on your role, so you need to check the tier 1 role using the green list. Now, as we mentioned earlier, for the green list, we have over 190 uh, job roles that are accredited. All you need to do is to come and search filter out your industry or your role or simply come to the search results and all that and find the eligibility criteria for your profession. So that's to say that some occupation might need to apply for international qualification assessment. For the current job that is bringing you into New Zealand, this must be acceptable and acceptable employment is when you work for an accredited employer or you have a job offer from one your role is on the tier one of the green list and you must meet the rules requirements such as the median wage or salary threshold registration professional membership or qualifications your employment is full-time and genuine and the role you are applying for is permanent or fixed term for at least 12 months so in case you are applying for a job, you can always check on the government website if your employer is accredited. The application process for the New Zealand Straight to Residence visa is relatively straightforward. You can simply apply online or through a New Zealand visa office. The processing time could be as fast as 40 days, but typically 90% of the applications are completed around 11 months. The cost of the visa application is 4290 New Zealand dollars for the main applicant and half of that for each partner and dependent children. To submit your application, you will need to create an account on the Immigration New Zealand website. Once you have an account, you can log in and start your application. You will need to provide a number of documents with your application as mentioned earlier. Just once again, this includes a copy of your identity, which majorly is your passport. Number two is a copy of your job offer. And remember that this job offer must be from an accredited employer and also must be on tier one green list of the New Zealand. Number three will be evidence of your English language skills, which you have a variety of texts to choose from. Uh, the last one will be evidence of your health and character. There are a few conditions though. Once you are granted a straight to residence visa, you must meet the following conditions. You must continue to work for your accredited employer for at least six months. Secondly, you must maintain your English language skills. Thirdly, you must not commit any serious criminal offenses in New Zealand. So what are you still waiting for? Ensure to check the website as well as the specific requirements for your vocation or profession on the green list and apply. Please note that all the links mentioned in this video are provided in the description box to this video. And on this note, I'd like to say 
Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later. But until then, stay happy and stay blessed. And don't forget that at Visa Pathfinders, it is our pleasure to be part of your success story. Bye.